Thank you for joining us this evening. One of the teens shot outside of East High School more than a week ago is still recovering in the hospital. Her mother is thankful she's still alive. Local 5's Chinu Her spoke to the hopeful mother about what's ahead for them. Kemri Ortega is still at Mercy One Hospital recovering after she was shot more than a week ago outside of East High School. I spoke to her mother who says she's thankful Kemri is still alive. Being around me. Thank you. I'm doing well. We believe in prayer. We believe in God. Miriam Montiel counts each day as a blessing. It was a real mir miracle that she's still alive. Even though her family's going through the toughest challenge they've ever faced together. It has been like an overwhelming week and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Her daughter, Kemri Ortega, has been at Mercy One Hospital in Des Moines for nearly two weeks, and there's no end in sight just yet. Kemri was one of three teenagers shot outside of East High School recently in a drive-by shooting. Another teenage girl is also recovering, but 15-year-old Jose David Lopez was killed. When I heard the doctor saying that she got shot on the head, I crumbled, you know, I, I felt like I was going to die in that moment. I was like, why my daughter? Why is this happening to her? <laughs> Miriam is documenting Kemri's recovery and sharing it on social media. Kemri's in good spirits and is toughly pushing forward. On Thursday, Kemri walked on her own without a walker for the first time since she was injured. They said definitely her speech was going to be affected, but she's speaking normally and we are blessed. Through it all, Miriam and Kemri are thankful for the support from different communities. What happened to my daughter went to, throughout the world, you know, and people have been reaching out and we are so thankful to have all that support. But more than anything, they draw strength from each other. I'm not as strong as she is, you know. Seeing the way she's just going through all this gives me courage to keep on going. Miriam tells me the family has consulted physical therapists and doctors to see when Kemri would be ready to go home. Right now, there's no timeline, but they're hopeful it'll be soon. Chinu Hurt, Local 5 News, We Are Iowa. Des Moines police have arrested six suspects in this shooting and are facing murder charges. Four of them are being charged as adults. They are Octavio Lopez Sanchez, Henry Valadares Amaya, Romeo Perdomo, and Manuel Bueso. A number of elected leaders weighing in on the shooting outside of East High School earlier this month. Governor Kim Reynolds said the education system could do better, but the reaction split along party lines. Yesterday when I heard that the governor was blaming the school and the educators and the staff for the fact that two, st three students were shot in drive-by shooting outside of East High School, I was stunned. It is absolutely unconscionable that you would blame anyone other than the person who pulled the trigger for a shooting where a child has died. We have very many uh, gun laws that are on the books and we need to make sure that we are giving law enforcement every opportunity to police and to remove guns from those that shouldn't have them. Um, these were children. They were innocent children. Groups like LULAC say Des Moines should prioritize investing in proper resources for minority students to prevent this from happening again.